I'm Elsie. And I'm Debbie. And we're Two Sisters Southern Cooking. Hey y'all, it's Debbie and Elsie. So we are together again today. I am so glad to be back home in Georgia. Oh my gosh. I was in North Carolina for a family funeral for my sister-in-law, Becky. She was one of our followers on our sister's page. And we love you, Becky, and uh, we're so sorry. She had a sudden death, it was unexpected, and then we had to go to Pittsburgh for Corey and Kelly's wedding. That's Ben's middle son. So, actually middle child, he's his youngest son. So, anyways, we are back. And I'm so glad to be back with my sister and my mom and my brother. I'm just glad to be back with my family. So, what are we doing, sis? Because we are doing Chipotle inspired recipes and Elsie and my favorite dishes at Chipotle's carnitas. is carnita, the burrito bowl. I love it with the rice. We're going to do a rice inspired recipe. We're doing the pinto bean inspired recipe. We're doing the fajitas uh, with the bell peppers and onions and we're going to do the carnitas in the slow cooker. So all of these are inspired, but they've got our own little twist to it. So, and, and not everybody's going to eat this, so, so we are actually going to um, use some of the carnitas to do barbecue pork for a couple of them that won't eat. Well, I can tell you Ben will eat it because he loves the carnitas at Chipotle. That's yeah. like his, he loves the beans and the, and the, uh, the rice and the, he loves all of that. So he will make himself a nice big bowl. So by the way, we will have a final video where we put everything together into a bowl and show you how we do our carnita bowl. But we are doing pinto beans and of course, we do dried, so you have to fast soak these. We've done a ton of fast soak videos on beans, and basically fast, fast soak is boil them hard for 10 minutes and let them soak for an hour. With the lid on. With the lid on, and then you can just proceed to cook them as normal. And what do you normally put in your pinto beans when you're fast soaking? Uh, it, it depends. Um, I just put a little salt in them right now, but I use salt pork. I use um, smoked uh, smoked meat, um, ham hock, ham hock, or turkey, turkey wings, turkey wings, or whatever. Whatever I happen to have is what we'll use. And I have salt pork today, so that's what we're going to season the the beans with, plus whatever else your recipe calls for that you found. Yes. So I want to also give a shout out to several people that actually was in Pittsburgh and said, Deb, do you ever do a shout out to anybody? So to Bobby and Carol Hartner in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, we love you. Thank you for being a follower and we appreciate you. And you need to send that recipe to Sis and I because we want to try your recipe. They have a German recipe they want to, us oh. to try. Oh. And I said, well, you know, what better way? We're, we're German, so might as well go ahead and try it out. I don't know if mom has ever ate it before. Do you know what it was? Um, I think it was called Kleist, I think it is, but it might not be the pro proper pronunciation of it, but um, we'll definitely, if you send that recipe to us, we'll definitely give it a try. Thanks, Bobby, for reminding me, and, uh, and I reminded you, you didn't send it yet, so <laughs> we love you guys. Um, anyway, um, also, I don't know if I said my condolences for Becky Hartner, my sister-in-law. She is a follower of our, our show, and uh, she passed suddenly uh, last, I was it Monday? Last, uh, Monday, a week ago, and um, we had to go up to North Carolina to Apex to um, her funeral, and um, I wanted to say condolences to uh, Scott and Linda, her mom, and her sisters and the kids, Rachel, Haley, and Jake, and we love you very much. So, with that said, let's head to the stove. The beans are already cooking, but we can pick up from where we left off when the fast soak is over and we are ready to proceed with the recipe and uh, just follow us at the stove top. All right, we'll see you shortly. We're gonna saute these onions that are gonna go in our beans. And then we'll add in the rest of our ingredients into the beans once I do this. We've already did a fast soak on the beans and they sat um, to reabsorb 
the liquid. So this is what that looks like. They've rehydrated. So I am going to saute these and then I'm going to put them into the, the beans and water that we have here. This will take about three to four minutes, maybe five minutes for these to get tender enough. I think we're sauteed enough. I'm going to turn this off. Pull this forward. That olive oil that I put in here is just going to give flavor in the beans as well. Because I sauteed it in olive oil. garlic in. The bay leaves, the cumin, and the oregano. And then turn it back on. And this is going to cook for two to two and a half hours. high to medium high. Hey y'all, I forgot to put the salt pork in. It hasn't even started coming to a boil yet, so we're good. Alright, I'm going to put the lid back on and let it come to a boil and then we will set our timer for two hours. Hey y'all, so I'm taking the bay leaves out and I added two teaspoons of salt in just now. Um, I thought I had three bay leaves but maybe I only had two. I guess I only had two. So it's time to assemble our carnita burrito bowl from Chipotle. It's an inspired recipe that we've just kind of like modified on our own and here we are. So I'm going to put it inside of the little watermelon bowl that Elsie has. I don't want to use all of our ingredients up so I'm just going to take a little bit of here and a little bit of there and uh, we'll just we'll go ahead and uh, Put our rice in. By the way, that rice, the bomb. Okay. So, mm. Mm -mm -mm. get 
get some carnitas. Put this on here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, you can put cheese on here if you want to. You can also do sour cream and whatever else you want to do. But um, you can do add that as you need. This here is how I eat a burrito bowl from Chipotle. So good. You guys got to try it. Y'all have a blessed night. Elsie, it's been fun doing this. And uh, y'all have a blessed night and see you in our next video. And I'm Debbie. And we're, we're Two Sisters Sister Southern Cooking. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you.